Hey there guys and welcome to another FPV Guide video. As you know, this week I'm hanging out and checking out Innodrone 2017. And I did make fun of the orange drone earlier this year, remember from CES I think it was. I'm not going to talk very loud about that right here because I'm back and I'm taking a look at it. And the really cool thing is, while it was a concept earlier this year, it's actually now becoming a fairly meaningful aircraft. The original H was 480 millimeters. We're now looking at 520 millimeters. That's four centimeters, about this much larger. We've got larger props. We've got a longer battery. We get about 28 minutes of flight time is what I'm being told. So with my usual skepticism, let's say 25 by the time we let some of our friends fly. But much more important, and this is really taking the interchangeable lens mount on the H series to a new interesting place, because here's the C90 camera, which is a one inch sensor. So now we are finally getting a modern, high quality camera sensor on right here that can compare with other high-end imaging drones for professional imaging. What we have is a 20 megapixel sensor, it's a one inch sensor, and it also shoots 4K. I don't know the exact specs of it yet, so we're gonna try to get to chain to test that and actually shoot a step width and get a dynamic range on this. But they have cleaned it up. The antenna is no longer sitting inside the camera, it's sitting on the back right here and it's it's a much more modern design so i'm really liking this they still have the same antenna solutions here to give good reach when you pop the legs up you get good control link that doesn't block your radio frequency signal right here now more about that so we got the longer lasting battery but if you look at the top where you can't see it there's a pix4 controller inside so that is also a very solid controller and we still have the forward-looking obstacle avoidance system on the front. So they have taken the six-rotor platform and they really have made a whole bunch of upgrades. But personally, I gotta tell you, as being an H owner, I really would say shoot an email to Unic and suggest that they also release the C90 for all of us that has H and H Pro drones, because with that, we'll be able to put that and upgrade our existing H to a very respectable camera. Anyway, that's what I'm hoping for for Christmas. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> so, so Ryan and I, we go way back. We've been breaking stuff for a long time. Yes, we have, yeah. But, uh, but new here, on the H520, you have a you have a system for surveying. Right. So we have a completely new operating system or software, and uh, what this is is called Data Pilot. And Data Pilot was designed from the ground up to be used for the commercial aspects. So not only is it good for just flying around in general, makes it easier, but it also is good for surveying and mission waypoint planning. Um, and what makes it really interesting on top of that is we developed two apps um, or two computer programs so now we can create our mission plans or survey missions on either a PC or a Mac and then download it into our, our ST16 and be able to use that right out on the field. Okay, so you can develop it at home using your map, download, and go out to the field and do the job. Correct. Um, so Data Pilot is, is laid out a bit different. There we go. So data pilots laid out a bit different. Our main screen is usually a, a map, but I don't have Wi-Fi at this moment. What's great about that also is we could pre-download maps using offline maps and save them in the area that we need to be surveying. On top of that, we have all our, our settings and everything else built in. Uh, survey missions, waypoints, um, we can center everything. Um, it just makes it a heck of a lot easier to, to go out there on the field and, and get your survey missions done. So, so this is really one of the things that's also taking the H into being a commercial product. Correct, correct. And on top of that, so Data Pilot also allows us to choose what kind of altitude we want. So say we're not flying most most drones will only allow you to go to 400 foot AGL, but it's usually logged in right on the, at the takeoff location. Right. And so if you're flying on the face of a hill, 
problem is is that you can get 400 feet, but the hill still... And you're you legally know, allowed to fly 400 feet correct. above the top of the hill. Correct. And so you can adjust that within Data Pilot now. And so you can adjust it unlimitedly. Uh, on top of that, you can adjust your own geofencing. And, and I know you also got the PIX4 flight controller? Correct. So that means we've opened up a lot of new things with the PX4. Um, we, we now can have SDK platforms and things of that nature. We can now, you know, open ports up that developers could actually I was key just into. Say, now you can now you can have developers work with you and create Correct. applications. So you Correct. so you open up for ver vertical. Right. And so if we notice on the, the new style ST16, or we like to call it the ST16S, we have added a USB port. I saw that. What that is is actually for third-party peripherals. So say somebody wanted to add a booster, or somebody wanted to add data a, recorder, or a data recorder, or somebody wanted to add, um, you know, an, an external battery that can power it all day long. You can do that. Brilliant. Good. Thank you so much for telling me a little bit about that. You're very welcome. And thank you so much for watching our videos here. I was lucky to Shanghai Brian to come and tell me a little bit more about the system. Make sure you click on the screen, click subscribe. We've got more videos coming from Inner Drone 2017. Have a good one. Thanks.